And good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Mr. Kasarian, and welcome back to Factorio. All right. So what are we working on today? Well, that's a pretty good question. We are actually just doing a little bit of cleaning up. Namely, with the belts plus plus, or belts extended, or whatever you want to call it. What it lets us do is do pretty large transport belts, or underground transport belts at least. And that gives us a few better options. Namely, we were finally able to get rid of that sort of temporary steel production I had up here. And kind of shift it around and move it a little bit. So, I can even get rid of these underground belts. Like that. And we'll just, I don't know, chuck the extras in there. And I did some rebuilding all the way over here. So, you guys can see this is significantly different. We have our steel production somewhat more centralized now, at least. So, that's good. Uh, we can chuck these in there. And you are empty right now as well. That's fine. So you can see we have this just a little bit more cleaned up, just a little bit nicer in its production methods. So that's pretty good. Pretty good indeed. All right. So what are we working on today? Um, we need to get sulfur going. All right. That's pretty much our objective for the day. So let's come into here. We need to get ourselves another chemical plant. And I have a ton of inventory that I need to clean up. But before we do that, we also need to get our supplies reset. So... I want to get myself a large chest, and I want to get... Thank you for the energy accumulators. That's great. Um, flamethrowers? No, I don't care about flamethrowers. Um, can't do that yet, can't do that yet. Yeah, we can do explosives. Let's do that. So I want to get myself a smart chest, okay? Okay. And he went somewhere because my inventory is so cluttered right now. It's not even funny. So let's put him right here. Boom. Okay. And I'm actually going to put a power pole on him. All right. Right there. And then I want to get, let's see, one red and one green. Okay. And then I also want to get a pair of smart inserters. So let's do that now. Smart inserter one, smart inserter two. You should go right there. Okay. Now have that guy set up and this guy set up. Okay. And we'll put that there, put that there, put that there. There we go. Okay. So we need to connect green to that and we need to connect red to that as well. And then we need one more green and one more red. So one and one. Not too hard to do. So red is going to be iron. All right. So we're going to click him and then click him. And then green will be copper. Click him and click him. So what we're going to say is red wire condition is going to be iron is less than six hundred. And green wire condition is going to be copper is less than. 200. And there we go. So all of that's managed. We don't have to limit the inventories. And we can also turn that, by the way, into a very nice and very cool logistics chest once we get that going. Awesome. All right. So if I look at my inventory, I think I have other stuff I need to do as well. Well, besides just cleaning the stupid thing out. My gosh. Okay. Explosives are done. Let's do, um, yeah, centrifuge processing, even though we're nowhere near that yet. So we're going to throw some copper ore in there. We'll throw maybe over here some iron in you and some iron in you. Okay, that looks pretty good. And do you have any wood left in you? No, you don't. So we'll clean you off into there. And in these guys, do we need to do anything here? Let's do that and that and this. There we go. All right, good. The next thing we're going to need to do is install this liquid handler, okay? So that's going to purify liquids for us, and we're going to shove them right here. Now, we have to do this pretty darn fast, all right? So we're going to take them out, put them in, and say that, all right? Now, hopefully, this will finish clearing the dirty water. All right, so we have clean water in there now, clean water in there now, clean water. The entire thing should be filling out with clean water. 
And eventually it'll stabilize, I think. Eventually. Looks like it's keeping itself pretty stable. And it's all heating back up quite nicely. So, yeah, okay, good. We are heated back up and we're all set there. All right, so that was good because that just significantly increased the amount of power we had. If you notice, these guys couldn't get up to their max performance. They were just kind of hovering a little bit low. That's because they didn't have the clean water. They need the clean water to hit max peak. All right, so just keep that in mind. Don't forget about it. It's important. All right, next thing's next. Okay, we need to do the sulfur chain. The sulfur chain? The sulfur chain. All right, so sulfur chain. Here we go. So we have our, this guy, and we'll put him down here. All right, we're gonna tell him he's producing sulfur. He needs clean water and petroleum gas. So we're gonna need to get ourselves another offshore pump, right? I have one, I just don't remember where I put it. We're gonna need a water handler and we're gonna need, oh, it's under energy. An offshore pump. And I think a Mark 1 should do us fine. Okay. And we'll pull this over. And we'll just say you will go right there. Okay. Good. And so you need petroleum gas now, don't you? So we'll just remove this guy. Take him over. Put him there. And, oh, we'll just use this up because we have it. All right. Boom. So now that's good. So we have that. Now we need to get this thing clean water, which means running more cabling. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the cheap stuff for this. And then we're gonna get our offshore pump, place him right there, our water handler, and place him right there and get him power to boot. And I don't mind the one that gives me stone. Okay. Because then what we can do is I'm just going to take one of these guys. Place them like that. We'll get ourselves just a regular good old fashioned chest and put that there. And that'll fill up on stone while we're doing whatever else we're doing. So let's then do like this. And let's get, let's see. I want to say... Two more. And 15, maybe. So we're going to go out. All right, so it's going to be like three more. Let's just take this out. Because we're going to have to come down from here, right? And now the reason I use so much in the way of underground pipes, by the by. And then we're just going to need one and two. Is because it's easier. And it doesn't block your movement as much. Remember, belts don't block movement, but underground pipes do. So we're going to put that there, and now you should start running. Good. All right, now what do we need? Well, now we're gonna have to produce sulfuric acid, right? Right. Which means that we screwed this up just a little bit. I'm gonna go down by a level. So, sulfuric acid requires another one of these guys, right? Uh, we can find it somewhere in our intermediaries that we can't actually do anything of. Yeah, iron, copper, and sulfuric. Now, sulfuric is sulfur, clean water, and iron, okay? So what we'll do as soon as this... Is that a refinery or a chem plant? Oh, shoot. All right. Chemical plant. Let's try that again. I'm like, why is that taking so long? Refinery? That's like a refinery. Oh, because it is a refinery. Oops. Okay. And what we'll do here is we'll stick him there, I think. Right? And we'll go with sulfuric acid. 
and we're going to move this guy. Okay. And then what we'll do is we'll go in through here like that. Okay. Okay. And then I wonder if just a stock inserter will be enough for this. I'm not certain. Okay. So we might as well just go with one of these. Boom. And then we'll have ourselves a line here, right? Now the trick, of course, is going to be to get the iron down here. Where's the first time I can get myself a combined iron copper line? Probably right here and then run it straight down. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. All right. So let's get ourselves another chemical plant then. Let's get this set up just before we actually start doing what we're doing here. So if I have myself a chemical plant here, right? And I'm telling you that you're producing batteries. So then let's go with this guy. Like that, right? So you're going to take the sulfuric acid you're going to get, you're going to produce batteries. But you need iron and copper, and you need iron. So let's actually do this a little bit differently. Is there an iron copper line I can tap over here? There's a copper line, but it's not a mixed iron copper line. Yeah, it doesn't look like there is one existing on this side at least. So that means that I'll have to I have a pure copper line running here, right? That would require a lot of moving crap. Yeah, I may. I just should create a new line then. Okay. So that's exactly what we'll do. So we'll put the splitter in here, I think. Oh, I already have some. Put the splitter here. And then we're going to have it come down to here, right? And then we'll have right. We'll do this. So do that, and then we'll have another splitter there, and we'll do a sharp curve over. So that way we have both there. Okay. And then we're going to use one of our nice, brand new, super underground belts. How good I get you all the way down now, can't I? They're a little cheaty, but they still require the same amount of resources, so I don't mind as much. Oh, that's actually perfect now, isn't it? Because then this guy... can run down like this. Right? Right. And then we can have the feeds coming in like that and like that. And watch. Perfect. We have batteries being produced now. All right. And then for transport... We run this guy out. We have this guy here. We put this guy like that with a El Cheapo power line. And we have him running just straight up like this. And then this guy, we can actually tuck him in a little bit. So it's one. Oh, I thank you. Uh, what can I do? Inserter, inserter stack size bonus. Sure, why not? One, two, there. So we'll go up and over. And then this can just run straight down, right? So now what do we need to start working on? We need advanced circuits. That's pretty obvious. And I need to get, I need to get copper cables plastics. All right, let's look at this then. And this is going to be more complicated than I'd like it to be. 
All right, intermediates. So I need electronic circuits, copper, and plastic. All right. Where's my nearest electronic circuits and copper line? It's pretending to be over here. Okay. So I'm going to have to pull this guy all the way down. Like down to here and then over, I think. So. Let's do this. put these guys way back here. And we're going to tell you guys that you're producing advanced electronic circuits and advanced electronic circuits. Great. X2. Perfect. We'll do that. And we'll go like that and like that. And then we'll have more, two more here. Actually... Let's move this over a little bit. This allows a somewhat more efficient design. Because then I can do that. There we go. Perfect. Let's do that. And that, right? And we have our line like that. And then our output line like that, right? Ooh, wow. I actually ran out of that for once. And we have plenty of long-handed inserters here. Okay, so let me get some more cabling, or some more, oops, whatever that junk's called. Transport belts, yes. Thank you very much. Okay, and I'm using up some of the junk in my inventory. Yay, okay. So, or I could produce it native. That's an idea. I mean, I literally have everything I need for it. Right? Hmm. It's an interesting concept. Because I could just produce everything I need here and not interfere with that line at all. Which would not stress the line quite as much, wouldn't it? Let me think about this. It's more pollution, but it's more stable. So, if I did the circuits, right? Copper and iron. Think about how I'd lay this out, all right? Because then... All right, we have to just do something stupid for this. Um, come on, something stupid here. Something stupid. Tanks, too. Okay, that's nice and stupid. So let's start laying this out, because I might be able to do this. So if I went... All right. So let's get ourselves... Another couple of these. And I really should just produce these, you know... Now I need a bigger assembler to do it. Okay. Yeah, I need the blue assembler, and then for the blue, I need the next level of assembler. Okay. So if I did something like that... Yeah. Okay. I think I can do this, actually. That... That. And that, right? Okay. Watch this. I know. Dangerous, dangerous things to say. Because you, what do you need? You need copper. So let's say that you are producing... You guys are producing copper cable. And that you're producing copper cable. You're producing electronic circuits. If we come up to here, I can go one, two, three. <clears throat> now we should use smart inserters for, or fast inserters for this. So let's go with fast inserter, fast inserter. This is interesting. I'm not certain if this is actually going to work. But we'll see if it does, because it might. It might very well work, actually. 
Okay, so then... I need you to feed like that, and I need you to feed like that, right? So then if we do... Something... No, what are you producing? You. You're producing an intermediate, and that intermediate is that. Okay. And then we need to split this. Why am I running out of copper? Oh, because I'm actually running out of copper, aren't I? Yeah, I am. Look at that. Okay. I'll put that on old temporarily while I fix this problem. Oh, yeah, because that happened. All right. I figured that might happen. Can I actually just upgrade these both to die tech versions? Yes, I can. Look at that. Of course, I run out of stone doing it, but hey. There we go. Okay. So that'll produce those die tech machines over there. If I can ever get those completed. They take bloody forever to build. So just bear with me. But they are awesome. Like, don't get me wrong. They are actually completely and utterly awesome. Okay. What are you doing? You're doing out and you're doing back. Okay, good. You're putting in, you're putting in. Okay. So then... I put a splitter in right there. And then I go across, across. And then I get two, three smart inserters. Or fast inserters. That should do the trick. Of course, it's not going to want to work right now, and I'm running out of copper on most of my lines, so that's fun. Can I just... Do I have any more copper, or... No, I don't. Okay. Come on, finish them up so I can actually get this rolling. And you're full, and so you guys are shut off. Oh, okay. That's new. <laughs> well, that's certainly a, a new thing to have happen. Okay, good. Two die tech machines, so we'll put these like that. That, and like that. And it's not like we're at a lack of power here. And you can see how nice and fast those things are. All right, so that should fill up our copper supply pretty quick. Which will be good, because we can't get this stuff running until we actually get that working. So we go like that, that, and that. And we'll just use good old-fashioned standard poles for this. And I actually want to do two more of these. I wonder if this will work. This will actually be interesting to see if this really works. Um, I think it might, actually. And let's just to make sure, let's get ourselves two productivity modules. And as soon as we actually start getting any copper down here, that'll be nice. Oh, look, we already have some copper coming. Beautiful. Of course, it has to take out of a circuitous route to get here, because it has to go all the way up and over and around and through the fields and whatever. So let's do one of you in there. Let's do the other one that's coming out in there. We'll get two more of them. I've been adding the productivity modules to a lot of my builds lately, just to increase efficiency. Oh yeah, look how slow those are. Okay, this this will keep up in spades. <laughs> This will definitely keep up with us. Okay. So we're going to have to output there, output there. Actually, let's flip this. Let's do the output here. And we'll put these guys going like this. Why are you... Oh, because you got messed up with a battery instead. There we go. Okay. Yeah, the only thing I'm worried about is this, basically. Okay. 
Okay. I'll put some... Eh, I'll just put speed modules in these. Alright, and now we have advanced circuits being produced. Awesome. Which is really good because these blue science packs require a smart inserter, a steel plate, advanced circuit, and a battery. Well, we have a lot of that being produced, but we also need to get the smart inserter, right? Alright, what does that mean? A smart inserter is a fast inserter in four circuits. What's a fast inserter? Two plates and electronic circuit. Great. Well, I'm certain we could find a place to shoehorn that in somewhere in our production line. Considering I have circuits running everywhere. Literally everywhere. Except where I need them to go, apparently. I push them all the way down and then over. Yeah, I could do that. Yeah, I could do that with Belts Plus. So let's get that rolling then. So let's get some belts shoved down here. So we're going to go... Um, are you going to go where I want you to go? One, two... That's one. Put you there. Oh, and we have to connect you too, don't we? All right, so. <clears throat> yep, there you go. All right, so we need to get inserters first of all. All right, well, let's lay this out first. Let's get some of these. Oh, look, you're out of fuel. Okay, so let's look at what we need to do here. So we need to get fast inserters. Oh, looks like we're out of time, guys. Sorry. All right, so guys, this has been Mr. Kassarian. I want to thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please like, comment, and or subscribe. Let me know you're out there. Let me know, let me know that you enjoy watching me do what I do. All right, guys, as always, happy building.